Sa asalukuyan, what's up Martians? Welcome back to yet another epic vlog. The semi review, para lang nang sa akin. Today, unahan ko na kayo, this vlog is sponsored by Food Manila Studios and also Feutech Philippines. Yes, sir. So today, Martians, pag-uusapan natin ang Feutech AK2000S. And it, to be honest, this is not an in-depth, solid, technical review. I'm just going to, you know, share with you kung ano yung mga selling points ng gimbal na to para sa akin. And I think you guys should really buy this gimbal. To be honest, oh, yes, it's not sponsored, not paid. But I will give you all my technical aspects and thoughts about it. Before anything else, wag natin kakalimutan what's inside the box. So makikita ninyo sa loob ng gimbal, meron siyang kasamang muna sa lahat ang kanyang pinakaimportanting parte sa lahat, yung stand, kanyang paa. Uh, nakakatawa sa mga gimbal ngayong panahon, may kanya-kanya silang design ng gimbal, may Feutech sign. And makikita niyo meron siyang kasamang pouch. Ang laman ng pouch na to, iba-ibang iba iba klaseng Type-C cable, iba-ibang cable din para sa iyong gimbal, para sa iba-ibang cameras. Papakita ko sa inyo just in a bit. And also, um, yung mga corks, screws, at ito para sa follow focus motor to which meron siyang follow focus motor na kasama. Which, although, to be honest, hindi ko naman siya nagamit. Still, kung meron kayong manual lens, like 7 artisans na lens or anything, any lens actually, magagamit nyo yung follow focus focus motor. Hindi ko lang siya na demo dahil wala naman akong manual lens and I actually rely on autofocus. Also, a couple of parts para sa follow focus. Also, para rin sa follow focus. And of course, yung plate na nilalagay sa camera nyo. Sa ilalim ng camera. Another thing is yung plate na kinakabit sa ating gimbal. Yung nilalagay sa harapan ng lens. Kapag medyo mahaba yung lente mo, lalagay mo siya sa tapat ng gimbal para versatile at para actually support siya sa lens na mabibigat. And of course, the handlebar na kinakabit sa side ng uh, gimbal natin para mag-undersling mode. Yun, extra support, right? And I almost forgot yung laman ng ating pouch. Yan. Iba ibang cable. Type-C cable, papuntang kamukha ng parang pwede siyang wire sa hard drive, to which I'm not familiar of. USB 2.0 to micro, Type-C. I think ito yung charger. Meron din siyang DC.2.5 mm jack. Meron din siyang uh, Type-C to TRS 2.5. And meron din siyang Type-C to multi. Meron din siyang USB 2.0 to mini. Yan ang laman niya. And of course, the gimbal itself. The main star of this unboxing. Semi-unboxing. So may kita ninyo na meron siya actually locking mechanism. Pero pag ginawa nyo siya out of the box, loose lahat, lahat ng axis at joints niya. But to be honest with you Martians, kung sa akin tong gimbal na to, hindi ko na siya ibabalik dito sa case. Kasi technically, ilalagay ko lang siya sa bag ko. Dahil medyo hassle magbit-bit ng case. Yun lang naman, honest opinion. But also, yan. Medyo loose pa siya. Really balance naman natin. And that's the gimbal it. Itself. Una sa lahat, alam niyo naman na ako ay isang uh, professional videographer doing food commercials. I'm um, also sometimes just a tiny bit weddings. But most of all, yun nga, food commercials, BTS, name it. I do that specifically with a gimbal. Lalo na kapag kasama ko si Nut. Shout out sa'yo. These past few weeks, napakabait ng Feutech Philippines dahil pinahiram nila tayo ng gimbal na napakalupit. Na para lang naman sa akin eh, talagang sustainable, reliable. First of all, ang masasabi ko sa gimbal na to, this gimbal has a versatile arm. And by that, I mean, makakapag-undersling mode ka na instantly. O bababa mo siya from, you know, the regular um, gimbal mode into undersling. I mean, sobrang dali. Ultimo yung paggawa mo ng sarili mong jib from a low angle perspective up to, you know, that specific shot, magagawa mo na lang instantly sa gimbal na to. Kung napanood yung previous upload ko, yung comeback vlog, that was shot with this gimbal, yung scene na naglalakad ako doon sa First thing that I like about this gimbal is basically its overall look. Dahil hindi siya masyadong malaki for a gimbal, hindi rin siya masyadong maliit. Um, nandun siya sa gitnang level ng gimbal na maaasahan mo. Pwede mo siyang ilagay sa gilid ng bag mo pag on the go ka. Although kasi, you know, since quarantine, hindi tayo masyadong makalabas. But, meron ako mga shooting, so 
technically nagamit ko siya talaga fully at its limit. Yun lang naman, masasabi ko. At masasabi ko rin na tong gimbal na to, kinabitan ko siya ng Fujifilm X-T3, X-T4, syempre yung ating Sony A64. At masasabi ko na talagang wow. Basically, this camera can hold up even a full frame camera. Another factor that took me away with this gimbal is that it's touch screen. Having that specific feature na touch screen habang ginagahan mo siya sa field is very useful at uh, sobrang handy dahil makikita mo yung kung nasan ka kung anong mode yung ginagamit mo. Yan, so makikita nyo yung kanyang button layout. Meron siyang lock on mode, pan follow mode, fo all follow mode, pan tilt follow mode, pan follow, at kanyang lock mode. Napakalupit, di ba? Teka nga, ayusin natin yung angulo. So ito ang kanyang menu. You just basically have to scroll right. Yan, meron siyang inception mode, motion time lapse, selfie, at portrait mode. Di ba? Napakalupit, may portrait mode pa to which hindi ko naman siya na-test. But I think this will also be useful for people who upload on Instagram. Um, just like me. At syempre, may kita nyo na rin yung may, meron siyang payload settings at meron siyang auto-adapt how cool is that? Meron din siyang um, shooting mode. Masaselect mo yung default, action, smooth mode, customize. Meron din siyang knob settings para rin nga ma maayos mo yung, para maayos mo yung camera sensitivity. Akin nakasagad. Meron siyang camera control para maayos mo yung, yun nga, yung kung nakakonect yung camera sa gimbal. Meron din siyang autofocus mode para din sa kanyang follow focus. So, meron din siyang settings, syempre, para i-calibrate at yung kanyang language. Bukod sa dito sa mga menu na to, pag nag-scroll ka naman papunta to sa left, eh may kita mo may ISO settings at mayong exposure compensation basta exposure exposure meter tawag ko dyan. Kung nako, hindi ko siya kinunik sa camera ko kasi nasanay na ako na sa camera nag adjust But, once na nakunik mo yung camera mo sa gimbal, you will have the opportunity to adjust all your camera settings by just using the gimbal itself. No need to go up and tap your camera, so on and so forth. Another scrolling feature, mayong auto white balance. Ma just mayong white balance ng yung camera from the gimbal. Besides having an app for this gimbal, automatically nako connect na siya. But it's not just mga lahat ng settings niya halos sa gimbal. Halos di mo narin kailangan yung phone unless yaman ko kung kung mag uh, motion lapse ka still nagagawa pa rin siya inside the gimbal third selling point for me is the weight capacity it can carry it can carry up to 2.48 ito yun weight limit niya hindi ko kabisado but technically it can handle my Sony A64 with a Sigma 16mm f1.4 along with the mic at syempre yung lens converter natin para maging wide. So masasabi ko lang pagdating sa weight sector, wala akong masasabi compared sa previous gimbal ko na Benro Red Dog R1. Alam niyo naman na nag-review ako ng gimbal at hindi na nasundan but masasabi kong reliable talaga. Fourth thing that I love about this gimbal is yung button layout niya. Ah, uh, may kita nyo naman. Meron siyang joystick, meron siyang record button, camera video, and switching button na which hindi ko naman masyado nagamit. But technically, ginagamit ko yung, ayan, yung, yung, yung joystick at yung rotating knob dito sa gilid pang palit ng pan or tilt. Okay, another thing that takes me away with this gimbal is the locking mechanism. May kita nyo naman. It doesn't wobble like my Benro Red Dog R1. Na nasira na. Kaya wala na akong gimbal. A moment of silence for the R1. I don't know if I'm even allowed to speak about other stuff, but yun nga, yung locking mechanism niya sobrang reliable. Kasi when you're in a shoot, syempre, shoot ka, and then stop. Papatay mo yung gimbal. So, it's either gagalaw ka sa ibang place, nahawak mo tong lahat ng parts na tong ganun, syempre, alalayin mo yung camera, alalayin mo yung gimbal, para hindi lahat mag-wobble. But since meron na siyang locking mechanism, I think that's one of the best innovations na ginawa sa isang gimbal, lalo na sa Feiyutech. Kaya, yun, napakalupit dahil may handle na siya, may ano na siya, may locking mechanism. Meron siyang tatlong locks para lang ma, yun nga, hindi na siya magwabol. A few things that I also love about this gimbal is meron siyang handlebar dito. You can easily go to understing mode and just instantly. Hindi, at saka, hindi na nahaharangan ng mismong gimbal yung um, screen ng camera. So technically, pag tumingin ka na sa likod ng gimbal, okay na. Hindi na katulad ng mga ibang gimbal na may nakaharang. Nakaharang yung mismong head niya sa screen. So technically, bibindot ka pa iba. So on and so forth. But also, another thing is that you can connect the gimbal to... Um, the camera itself, para dito nyo ma-access yung controls for record, taking photos, taking videos, and yeah, yun yung mga dapat nyo malaman sa gimbal na ito. Ewan ko kung ano pang pwede nyo hanapin sa isang gimbal na 
na gagamitin nyo for an everyday shoot and everyday carry. So besides sa overall look, sa touchscreen, sa kanyang weight capacity, sa button layout, at sa locking mechanism, uh, masasabi ko lang na ang only room for improvement lang naman na kailangan ng gimbal na to is yung kanyang weight limit. Yan lang naman. But overall, um, hindi siya pumalpak sa akin, hindi siya nangarag, hindi siya nanginginig. Uh, usually, I've experienced that in my previous gimbal na kapag medyo, ito nga, actually mabigat na tong setup na A64, ta Sigma 16. Sigma 16 F1.4, medyo mabigat na tong um, setup na to dahil pa lang sa lens converter na meron ako sa tapat. Talagang swabe tong gimbal na to. Marami pa akong project so medyo quick ang review natin dito. But technically, papakita ko pa rin kayo ng sample shots lang naman na naglalakad ng plane, shot in 4K, um, may, root, may orbiting shot, I know I suck at orbiting shots, but here's the shot. Move for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picture perfect, so I told him I'm a flicker. Bill, I'm in a move for a change up. I leave the city and return with my change up. They got amnesia, don't remember how they played us. They wanna knock me down, but somehow. Straight to the stage, they love me. Exhibit, the exhibit rapper. At so in Martian, sila naman yung mga gusto ko pag-usapan sa gimbal na to. Wala nang iba. Huwag na masyadong technical dahil ano nga naman kasi ang tinitignan natin sa isang gimbal. Um, yung mga binigay ko sa inyo yung examples kung anong magagandang selling points ng gimbal na to, yun yung bonus niya as a gimbal. But technically, all gimbals are different. But this one, it really stands out. I wasn't paid to say that. Plus, plus the rustic look feel inside the body of the gimbal. It's really rustic. Kasi nga wood. So, para sa akin may unting dating siya. Medyo hipster style. Yun. Yun lang naman. So, maraming maraming salamat sa Fayetech Philippines for lending us this gimbal of a beast right here. Um, I wish na sana binigay na lang <laughs> kasi medyo na-attach na ako sa gimbal na to. Hindi ko nga matanggal-tanggal yung plastic dito sa gilid kasi syempre hindi natin masyadong ma- And also to be honest, um, hindi ko na masyadong ginawang technical tong review na to dahil kompleto naman yung napakita natin yung mga basic specs, yung mga features niya, yung mga features niya as a gimbal and yung mga test shots ng gimbal. At syempre yung napanood yung sequence dito sa ating review for today, mini short non-technical review is um, shot with the AK-2000S and the A64. Everything was shot in a gimbal. 4K, 24P, at um, 1080, 120. So, yeah. I hope you guys like everything that we saw here today. At syempre, dahil magna-99 sale na, baka naman gusto nung puntahan sa description box below. If you're one of those people looking for another upgrade towards your old gimbal, this will be the perfect fit for you. At, o oh nga pala, one more thing. Natatanggal to. Yun. Kung hindi ko man napakita sa inyo. Yun lang naman. It's a good selling point. At meron din siyang trigger for pan, tilt, option for... Pwede nyo siyang iset sa settings. At syempre, kung out of this world ka, wag na wag mo na rin kakalimutan na mag-like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow Food Manila Studios and also yung bago kong Instagram page for my food photography, yung um, Takaw Mata. At follow nyo na rin yung Feutech Philippines. Nakalink sila sa baba. And I will be back for another... Siguro last episode ng Helping Small Businesses. Inintay ko lang kasi yung product na dumating. Inorder ko siya. At masasabi ko na ito yung magiging pinakamalupit nating pasabog sa channel na to. Yung product na yun. Medyo matagal dumating. But I think it will be worth it to give it a try. And I know kapag napanood nyo yun Martians, isishare nyo yun at tutunuhan nyo yung ipakalat yun. Abangan nyo yung huling pasabog ng series natin na Helping Small Businesses for free. Peace out.